I, I'm going to talk to you about the essentials of contracts, everything you need to know about contracts in three minutes. So this is going to be um, a, a whistle-stop tour, tour par, um, par excellence. Um, so... Um, <laughs> uh, that's just a fairly irrelevant quote, which I don't really have time for you to read, but um, it's from one of my favourite books. It's the only quote that I could find about contracts that was in any way relevant, um, and basically says that they're really, really evil. It's not true, it's not true. But um, So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you really, really quickly, like it's one minute each, basically, on what you need, uh, why you need it, and when you should get it. Um, so that, that's, that's what we're going to be covering. Um, okay, what you need. This is, this is it. It's kind of like all that variety of different things. Um, and obviously, it will really, really vary depending upon who you are, what your business is, and you know, what your sort of business requirements are. But there's some examples of things that look vaguely like contracts on the screen. Um, some of the sorts of stuff you'll need, probably if you're, there's more than one of you running the business, you'll need some form of agreement between the business owners, shareholders agreement, partnership agreement, something of that nature. At some point, you might want some sort of um, contract between between you and your end users or customers. Um, it might cover payment if that's how you're making money or it might just be an end user agreement of some sort. Website terms are sort of featured up there, privacy policies, all that kind of thing. Um, and then from a lawyer's perspective, some of the really, really important stuff is the agreements with your suppliers, particularly if it's tech, to make sure that you actually own the stuff that they're creating for you. So that's like the 30-second the um, pitch on what you need. Um, right, the next thing is why why you need it and this is kind of the most interesting thing for me <laughs> um, so lots of people say well you know do I really actually need contracts you know what am I what are they going to do for me what what's the difference between um, you know just sort of making agreeing stuff with people you know talking to them and saying this is what we'll do and and having stuff written down well from our, from my perspective there are really three key things that you've got to think about and what I think you should really get written down the first one is making sure that you actually protect your rights um, most of the work I do is with tech companies and when I talk about rights I'm mostly talking about intellectual property rights they're the really really key asset of your business um, it can be creative companies as well exactly the same thing applies anything you create you want to protect protect it. That's where the value of your business really is. Um, so contracts should do that for you. Good contracts should do that for you. Licenses, assignments of IP if you're on the customer side, making sure that your developer actually assigns that over to you. So that's number one. Number two, you want to actually get paid or if you're on the other side, you want to get what it is that you paid for. Um, this is quite important, generally. Um, you know, there are hundreds of um, hundreds of cases in the high court every year. Those are the ones that have gone really, really wrong, and they're the high value ones. Um, there are even even more cases in the county courts, thousands upon thousands of cases with people who are trying to get paid, who just want to actually get the money that somebody's agreed they'll pay them. Um, and there are way, way more sort of magnitudes of uh, multiples more of the ones that just don't go to court. They settle or the people just, you know, they have a dispute. They don't get what they want. So getting paid is really quite important. And the flip side of that is actually getting what you think you've paid for. And the, the trick I, well, that we always think of a, of a good lawyer is that we can make sure that both people understand what it was that they wanted to get out of the contract. And that's actually written into it in a clear way so that when you come to the end of it, that's what you get. Um, and the last thing is to minimize risk. Um, I'm not going to talk about it at great length, but that's kind of the really kind of legally bits, things like limitations of liability, making, making sure that you're not taking on more risk than actually the value that you could get out of the contract. So the balance of risk and reward is pretty much similar. Um, and you're not taking on huge risks that you, you didn't realize that you were taking on. So making sure you comply with your regulatory obligations and that kind of uh, stuff that sounds fairly boring, but that's, that's why you come to us to get it done. Um, so those are the three, the three reasons why I think you really should get contracts, hopefully. Um, and the last thing is, uh, that I wanted to talk about is when. Um, so a lot of, lot of companies come to us, and this is um, a very good time to come to us if you haven't previously, um, when they want to exit, when they're thinking about exiting. Um, and the reality is that if you don't have good contracts in place, when you're trying to exit, when you've got a purchaser looking at your company, that is a very, very, very strong reason that they'll use for not paying you as much for your company as you thought it was worth. Um, it, you know, they look at it and they see that all the contractual stuff isn't really in place and they say, well, nah, well we're not quite so sure about
about this. Let's knock something off the value. Um, so that is, uh, if you haven't come to us before that point, come to us before you start talking seriously to the purchasers and we'll make sure it's sorted out then. Ideally, a bit earlier would be better, um, particularly if there's any chance of, of um, you know, the parties not getting on brilliantly forever or one party having slightly different objectives from one of the other parties to the contract. Um, it's definitely worth getting your contract sorted out before you know, there's too much at stake and before there's any real risk of, of a fallout because it's really difficult to come to an agreement once you've gone too far down that road. Um, so yeah, so, so ideally before you've put too much reliance on the other party that you're going to end up in a contract with um, would be a good time to put it down in writing so there's no, there's no confusion over what was agreed. Um, and obviously in an ideal world, the lawyer's ideal world, right at the beginning of a relationship would be ideal, but you know, we, we're quite realistic and we appreciate that that's not, always, um, that's not always feasible. At that point you may not know whether your business is going to fly, so you don't want to spend huge legal costs. So, so that would be my, you know, my ideal but the ones up at the top of the list are kind of the, the um, you know, if you haven't done it at the beginning, do it one of those times. Um, so that's it. Um, hopefully the who is, the, is us. Um, the reason why you might want to come to us is because we're really focused on tech. Um, by law firm standards, we're kind of a startup. Uh, we started in 2002, so most law firms have been around for tens, if not hundreds of years, and we're relatively new. Um, we're a niche uh, technology practice. We're recognized in the Legal 500 now. Uh, my name's in there as well. Hooray. Um, <laughs> um, and, and really, tech contracts is the crux of what we do. We also do intellectual property, and um, Chloe was here last month talking about that. Um, if you missed that, then there is a video somewhere, um, I think, on the the HHH website and there will also be a video of, of this. Um, so this was a, like a truly whistle stop tour. On your chairs there should have been a little folded card which gives you a link to the stuff that I've said in more detail. Uh, you can download it, it's completely free, just sort of download it and, and have a read if um, you didn't manage to make a note of absolutely everything I said just now. Um, so that's it. That's our contact details. Um, there is also a special offer on our website, so look that up. It's um, oh, some, uh, th There's a questionnaire to fill in, and there's some free advice for you, and then there's some very low-cost contract review advice if, uh, if you need it at this stage as well. Um, drop us a line. Right, thank you.